hello and welcome back to another video and today we are going to solve uh, breadth first search and uh, we also have depth first search so the only difference in our core implementation between bfs and dfs is going to be the difference between queue and stack so i hope you know the difference between uh, the queue or queue and a stack when we apply bfs on a let's assume a tree like this so it traverses a graph or a tree level by level for example it will go to first level a then b c then d e f g h and depth first search works in a different way so first let's have a look at our implementation for bfs and then we will just make that one small change which will convert it into our dfs algorithm i have already typed down some boilerplate code so that we can focus on our core logic this create graph method will take in will take in a dictionary and create a graph and it will return that graph so we have to give input in this format so i have just specified the input format we will give them a node for example in this example in this our example graph we have a and we have b and c so our input would be something like this a colon b comma c so this would be our input because we have a and b and c are a's children so that's why this would be our input and then our node would be a list of a and b comma c a string of a and b comma c and then a graph of node of 0 that is node of 0 would be a would be equal to node of 1 dot split and it will split our string wherever it finds a comma so it would find a comma between b and c that's why it will split them into two different elements and we will get our and we will get our dictionary our dictionary's key value would be a and it would be pointing towards a list of b and c so that's what our create graph method is doing so the create graph method is just for taking input and it will create a graph in dictionary and it will return the dictionary and uh, yeah as you can see here i have created a dictionary and called create graph method and then we have a starting point and we have ending point in our graph so that we can check if we can go from one point to another point inside a graph and then we have our result so our result would be a list and uh, let's let's have a look at our implementation now so first of all let's have a result our result would be a list where our first string would be uh, let's keep it by default not reachable when we do not have a path from our starting node to our destination node we will just return our first element of uh, the list result as not reachable and our second element would be a list so this would be the path we have traversed to reach a particular node and now we will have uh, two more lists uh, first one would be uh, visited to keep track of all the nodes we have visited till now it would be equal to a list and uh, then another one would be a queue which would be also a list in python a uh, list is a very flexible data structure and it can be used as a queue and uh, as a stack so i think that's great feature provided by python list and now we will just append q dot append q dot append or start and visited visited dot append start because we will start our traversal from the starting node which we have provided and now we will have a while loop while queue so what it will do is as long as our queue has even one element inside it so as long as our queue is not empty we will keep iterating through our loop or our statements now we will get our current node which would be equal to queue dot pop of zero because so it will return our first element in our list or in our queue and it will also remove that element from our queue so we will just check if our uh, current node not in 
graph dot keys so our keys of our graph are all the nodes in our tree and uh, if our uh, current node is not in our keys then, then it we will just continue and we will not check other conditions okay so and now we will have a for loop for node in graph of current node so our current node is the key and we will loop through all the connected nodes okay so all the connected nodes which are uh, connected to a current node for example here let's assume when our first node would be a so its connected node would be b and c because our key, key is a our connected nodes would be b and c and now if we will have this check condition again if our node not in graph dot keys we will just continue and uh, if our node is equals to destination that means the end point where we want to go if we have found our destination our result of 0 would be equal to reachable and we will break our loop and now we will have another condition so let's assume we have not yet traversed through that element it is and it is not our final element so if our node is not in visited we will just visited dot append our node and q dot append our node and finally now we will come out of our for loop and our while loop and result of 1 would be equal to visited so it would store all the elements we have visited and in the order we have visited them so that's why this can be used as a path and now let's have a look at here so we are storing our result in a variable result of 0 would be our reached or not reached or reachable or not reachable or result and our path traversed would be our, all the visited elements in the order we have visited them so now let's run our code ok so enter the number of nodes so I will enter 8 because as you can see here in our example tree we have 8 nodes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and our first node is A which is connected to B and C and then we have B which is connected to D and E D and E and then we have C which is connected to F G and H and now we have D which is a leaf node E which is our leaf node again and similarly for F G and H so now we have to enter the starting point let's enter A and uh, the ending point of traversal let's enter uh, H or last element and uh, we have a uh, error actually I made a small mistake we have to also return or result I forgot to return or result sorry for that and now let's run our code again so as you can see here we have our result as reachable because we have both those elements in our graph as we can see here we have A and we have H and uh, this is our result A B C D E F G and we do not have H because that's our uh, end result so our end result would not be in our visited elements because whenever we are finding our uh, end result we are just breaking from our loop so if you want you can uh, add that not a big that's not a big deal so this is basically our uh, breadth for search algorithm and i have used it to find a path if there exists a path between two elements in a graph so thank you for watching my video and if you like the video uh, please drop a comment and subscribe to my channel and we will meet in my next video